Hey, what's going on traders? This is Talent from Trade Lab. Today, I am going to show you a strategy I built on Trade Lab that you can copy. This is a simple, profitable scalping strategy for beginners using Market Cipher by Dr. Slater. What I was doing is building these long explanation videos on how to build a strategy from scratch so you would know how to do it all yourself and then explaining that you could copy it in Trade Lab's community browser. But that was kind of turning into a lot of editing and a lot of time on my part. And what I figure is I will do those videos, the longer explanation videos, less editing. I will put that in Trade Lab's YouTube channel. You can go there if you want to see how to build these strategies yourself. On this channel, I will show you what the strategy does and how to copy. Again, I just want to remind you, Trade Lab is now free if you trade exclusively with BitGet. You go into Trade Lab, sign up for a new plan under the unlimited free plan with BitGet, and you get unlimited bots, unlimited strategies, unlimited everything for free. If you don't want to use only BitGet, you want to use Bybit, Femex, or whatever exchange you like to use, it's only $49 a month. You still get unlimited bots, unlimited strategies, unlimited alerts. You have access to the community browser. You can copy any of my strategies, then you can put them in your strategies and tweak them to your liking. Another thing, we're going to be building this strategy today using Market Cipher. If you don't have Market Cipher yet, I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can get 15% off. If you don't want to click on that link, you could just go to Market Cipher's website and use my code TALON2303, the name of my channel, and you'll get 15% off Market Cipher. And let's get into it. So this strategy is by Dr. Slater. This is one of the first strategies that I ever tried to trade with manually, and it was just really hard to find the right entries. It's the simple profitable scalping strategy for beginners. I'll leave a link to this video below so you can see it. You're going to use Hike and She candles in Market Cipher A. So you come in here into Market Cipher A and you can turn off all the different ribbons except for one and five. This strategy is on the four minute time frame. The premise of this strategy is that when ribbon one crosses up over ribbon five, you go long. Because it's hiking a sheet, it's going to be somewhere in the middle of the candle. You're going to place your stop loss at the bottom of the candle before you enter, which is usually somewhere around 0.05% or 0.1%. And then you're going to take profit when it crosses. So actually probably somewhere down here because it's going to be when the ribbon crosses. Another thing is you can take profit on the red dots. So we may go add to this strategy later. I'll already tell you that when I set up this strategy in the other video, I tried to make it so the stop loss would be put at the bottom of the candle or atop on shorts. It's the opposite with the shorts. I'll show you that. But I was having trouble getting that to work correctly. I may try to tweak that later. But what I ended up doing is just making a stop loss of 0.1% because it seems to be pretty much the average. But we are doing the close of the trade on the ribbon cross. For shorts, when ribbon one crosses under ribbon five, right here, where this blood diamond is, you are going to go short. You are also going to put the stop loss at the top. This is 0.05% again. See this one, you're leaving a lot on the table. You may need to do take profits and green dots. I may add that to the strategy later. Do a follow-up video. But that's the basic premise. The problem I had manually trading this was that there's a lot of dead space. And she explains that in her video. In the first video, she didn't really explain how to weed out the dead space. She made this three WAP video that says you will take long trades when the VWAP on the three hour crosses up and is either moving up and close to to the zero line or just above it. And you only take short trades if the VWAP on the three hour is moving down and just above the zero or just below. So what I did here in the strategy is we use the Market Cipher template I made in the last video. We are using Market Cipher B data. We hook this up to the three hour time frame, and I put that in the instructions in the alerts. We're only really using the VWAP on the three hour, but if you look in the rules, I made a rule for the VWAP moving up. So for that, we needed an alert. So when you come in here to set up the strategy, you're going to set up all these alerts in trading view. So we need the three WAP moving up rules, the three WAP moving down rules, the ribbon one and five price. I guess I kind of eliminated that when I changed the stop loss, but we have it there in case we try to change it again later. Our entry rules. So we want the VWAP on a long entry to be less than five. I'll show you here on the 
three hour. If you look at the view op, let's see, right now it's moving up and it's at negative five. So you would only look for a long here in about another minute. I think I made this alert on market cipher once per minute. So it's kind of always tracking the number. So once it starts moving up, you're good. But it would be the same thing over here. See, so it's moving down. You're only going to take shorts when the view op is below five. Back to the four minutes. We're not worried about the four minute VWAP in this strategy, but it looks like the VWAP's moving up, so you would not have taken this short. So, right now, we're looking for a long signal. So, if this were to cross up, our bot should take a trade. One thing when you're copying this strategy, I want you to go in here to the alerts because these alerts will, they all have different alert templates. Okay. So to copy my strategy that I built here. Okay. Moving back to the template. Okay. So for our short entries, you want the three watt moving down. You want on the three hour view up, you want it to be greater than negative five, less than four. And you are only going to take the short when the ribbon crosses under. When ribbon one crosses under five, our strategy trade setting symbol is going to equal ETH on this trade. And our label and our time frame have to match up. Then it sets aside to sell and places the order. Okay. And then the long will close when ribbon one crosses under five again. And our short will close when ribbon one crosses over. So let me show you how you can copy this yourself and how you are going to set it. So we'll quit out of here. We're going to go to the community browser. In the community browser, here's my ribbon one and five scalp. So you're going to click on this. You'll be able to see the rules and the copies. You can see more if you want to. Right now, I'm going to move all my stuff over to BitGet. Bybit changed their information they're sending into Trade Lab, so the PL is not coming out correctly currently. I think Jake has a way to do it manually from Trade Lab, but the way this used to work until they updated their script or whatever, they're, I don't know the technical side. Jake could explain that better maybe over in Trade Lab, but they're no longer sending the actual PLs, so this information isn't correct. Uh, I'm going to set up my account, get stuff moved over into BitGet, and then hopefully we can track these trades better. I had the initial short setup incorrect so i don't know if this would well one i don't know that these were actually losses or wins or whatever but once we get this set up in the other exchange hopefully this will track correctly but we will go to the community browser you click back on this copy setup after you click on the copy strategy you're going to find the ribbon one and five scalp in your strategy list you're going to click edit you are going to get this window that pops up. It'll give you the video to watch of the long video that I made. Uh, you can watch how I did all the steps right there. You could set up the strategy now. So what you could do first is you want to put the exchange you're going to use. You want to pick your symbol you want to use. You can use whatever symbol you want. I would definitely kind of back test it, look through and see if it works the way you want it to, because not all symbols trade the same. In this, I put the four minute time frame because because that's what the video recommended. So you hit continue and then it's going to bring you to the alert instructions. Before you do this, I want you to go to the alerts and I want you to make sure that these templates are correct. So you are going to go hit edit and make sure market cipher A data says market cipher A data. Sometimes see this defaulted to market cipher A. I think a lot of times it defaults to the first one when you copy a strategy. You just want to make sure that these are correct. So this one is market cipher B. So we're going to click market cipher B data and save it. 3 wap up is going to be our ribbon 1 and 5 template. So and all, everything should be the same once you change the templates to the correct ones. This is also going to be ribbon 1 and 5 template. This is important, otherwise your alerts will not work correctly. So all of these, except for the price, are going to be ribbon 1 and 5 template. Okay, this will be ribbon 1 and 5 price. Okay, so now this is ready for you to create all your alerts. The way you're going to do that, you could either go to strategy setup and go back through the list, or you could just click on on this I right here, you come up with the same list, you click on this and it tells you exactly what to do. So you're going to put the webhook into trading view and the message. So you'll for market cipher A, click here, set an alert and then follow these instructions. So make an alert on trading view for pivot high greater than negative five. So got A, you're going to change this to greater than and then you will have more options. So pivot five, greater than negative five. This one we're doing, uh, except for A, we're doing once per minute, I believe. I have that in here. I uh, greater than negative five. Oh, you know what? We're not even using market cipher data in here, so you don't even have to do this alert. But you do 
here and I'll change this alert to have once per minute. So it's less confusing for you guys, but just follow the instructions. These will be once per bar close. I'll put that in the alert template also. So it's less confusing and you don't set it up incorrectly. So follow those instructions. Once you have it set up, these are ready to go. The things I have changed since the longer video are I took out the buy looking for whether it's a buy or sell signal because this changes when this alert comes in i don't want that to screw up anything i just changed that to the fixed stop loss to see how that works in the original video i did forget to put these three things in the short entry they're there now so it should work better and we will just run this and see how it works you let me know if you want anything changed if you find a part of the strategy that seems to work better i was kind of looking at it and thinking that maybe we might be better off using the RSI rather than the VWAP on the three hour, but we will see. We'll let this run for a little bit, see what the results are like, and then go from there. We'll definitely do a follow-up video. But for now, like, share, and subscribe to this channel. The affiliate links are below for Market Cipher and for Trade Lab. Remember, you can trade for free on Trade Lab if you use BitGet. If you want to use any other exchange, it's $49 per month. And I will be back soon with another strategy video to show you.